Jacket. Hi guys, today we are going to do some cool science experiment using some red cabbage. Before we begin, let's take a few minutes to review some important safety guidelines to ensure a safe working environment. Safety will always be our top priority. First and foremost, always wear the appropriate personal protective equipment. This include lab coats, safety goggles, gloves and clothes to shoes. Make sure your PPE fits properly and is in good condition. It is crucial to keep the laboratory clean and organized and familiarize yourself with the laboratory apparatus before using it. These are the apparatus that we are going to use. You must have learned in class about acid and bases. To know if a solution is acid or alkaline, people use something known as an indicator. They come in a paper form known as limus paper or as a liquid solution. It changes color differently when it meets acid or an alkaline. There are so a laboratory supply store, but today I'm going to show you how you can make your own at home from red cabbage. So you take a couple bit leaf from the cabbage and put them in a blender, then add about three glasses of water. Distilled water is preferred at this point, but even tap water will work. Now, blend it together until you end up with some healthy cabbage juice. I'm going to drain it first using a tea strainer. This is going to take a while seeing I have to get rid all of the slush. Now, we need some solution to test. To measure the acidity or alkalinity is done in pH values, the pH scale has 14 increments. The lower the number on the pH scale, the more acidic the solution is. And the higher the value, the more alkaline the solution. And 7 is the neutral zone. Here are 7 commonly available solutions that we are going to test. Lemon juice, vinegar, carbonated lemon soda, water, toothpaste and water solution, baking soda and water solution, and finally bleach. Now, I'm going to pour my indicator into the glasses to see what happened. The lemon juice, being the most acidic of the lot, changes to a bright red color. The vinegar changes to a pink or less bright red color. The lemon soda changes to a pink color. The water, be neutral, take on the color of the indicator and become purple. The toothpaste and water solution change to a blue shade, which means we have now stepped into the alkaline zone. The baking soda and water solution turns a bluish green shade. And finally, the bleach, being the strongest base of the lot, resolves the purple color completely and retains its own light yellow color. You can see how the indicator has changed color in all the different solution. This is a very fun and easy experiment. You can try it at home for almost free. And it is also an excellent and safe way to demonstrate the concept of acid and bases. I was told in class that acid neutralizes alkalis and vice versa. So that means if I meet the solution at the extreme end together, they should cancel out each other and I should end up with a purple color. So let's try it. When I mix the lemon juice with the bleach, there is no effect on the color. The bleach is a much stronger base than the lemon juice which is an acid. It will require a lot more use to neutralize the alkali completely and turn the color back to purple. Next, when I mix the vinegar and baking soda, there is a sudden relief of carbon dioxide. It is still not completely neutralized so it is holding on to the pink color showing that it is still slightly acidic. Finally, when I mix the lemon soda and toothpaste solution, both being with acid and with bases, they neutralize each other completely and we get a perfect purple color just like the water solution. You can also try it out with the other solution to see what you get. That's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.